All right, guys, Georgia Jim. Got a couple of these little uh, slider cams here. These uh, came in a, I found a uh, box of them while going through my locks. And apparently I bricked three of them while picking them. Key doesn't work anymore. Good times. Uh, so I figured before I wreck the rest of them, I'd show you guys how to pick them. So, uh, ignore the slider track if you want and just pick the wafers that are poking down from the bottom or from the top of the keyway. You don't need crazy tension or anything like that. As you set them, you'll, uh, use a little, little narrower tip. Uh, as you set them, you'll feel the core turn a little more each time. There we go. But, uh, yeah, you don't have to actually. You can see in there. There's sliders on the bottom. You don't have to pick them. You can just pick the wafers on top. Or, let's see, will this one turn both ways? Okay. You can, uh, tension it. You got a little slider fork. And then pretty much the same thing again. The uh, the the tolerances are so bad that you can just uh, every time you touch a wafer that needs to be set, you can feel the core shift. Touched uh, three, four. Five. Check this out again. There we go. See if this one still works now. Yeah, this one still works. So I guess two out of five ain't bad. But uh, yeah, you can either pick them from the top, hear the wafers, 
or you can use a little slider fork and just move them up and down. So, nothing to them. Um, all right, that's it.